Let's talk about the magic of turning a house into a home, shall we? Picture this. A roof over your head versus a place that hugs you tight, keeps you safe, and gathers your loved ones. It's all about the vibe. Our homes buzz with a special kind of energy, thanks to the love and warmth we fill them with. This isn't just where we sleep, it's where we live, love, and grow. Now, a house, that's just a building. It doesn't share our laughter or soak up our joys and sorrows. It's just there. But when we talk about a home, we're diving deep into human history. Imagine families, way back when, cuddling up around a fire. That warmth, that light, that togetherness, that's what made it a home. It's a place touched by something divine, turning it into a sanctuary, where every corner is steeped in our essence and memories. Dolores Cannon, a wise soul, nudges us to see our homes as more than walls and roofs. They're the backdrop to our most intimate moments, shaping who we are and where we're going. A home is where we're truly ourselves, where our personalities bloom and where we find the strength to tackle life head on. And guess what? Today, we're diving into how the stuff in our homes and the energy we give and get back can make a huge difference in our lives. We'll uncover how some things might be blocking our blessings and how by following Dolores Cannon's wisdom, clearing out the clutter can lead to prosperity and spiritual growth. Our homes are powerful. They're where we forge our values, nurture our souls, and dream our biggest dreams. Let's explore how to make our living spaces reflect and boost our inner state, guiding us toward a richer, more fulfilled life. First up on Dolores Cannon's list of home energy tips, let's chat about the shoes you wear inside. More than just foot coverings, they're like maps of our life's journey. Shoes that are worn out or dirty, they might just be showing us where we're stuck holding on to negativity that's blocking our way forward. Changing into fresh, clean shoes is like saying, hey, I'm ready for a new start. It's about scrubbing away the old vibes and stepping into a future filled with positivity and growth. Think about it, coming home to a pair of battered, muddy shoes right at the doorway. That's not just an eyesore, it's a downer for your spirit, whispering tales of tiredness and toil. But switch them out for something fresh and clean and it's like you're telling yourself, I'm moving on up. This simple swap can be a game changer, signaling a break from past drags and a leap towards brighter days. Dolores Cannon nudges us to see every object in our home, down to the humble shoe as a player in our personal and spiritual saga. A clean pair of shoes isn't just about hygiene. It's a step on a clear, obstacle-free path forward. It's a visual and symbolic nudge to leave behind what's not helping us grow and stride into new adventures with confidence. But it's not just about the shoes. Unused hooks and hangers around the house, they're not just empty spaces, they're missed chances, according to Canon. Clearing them out or putting them to good use is more than tidying up. It's about making room for new opportunities and positive energy to flow in. It's about decluttering both your space and your life, setting the stage for abundance and joy to find their way to you. And don't get me started on broken mirrors. Far from just a superstition, they're seen as cracks in our personal energy field, inviting in all sorts of mess we definitely don't need. Fixing or removing them isn't just about avoiding seven years of bad luck. It's about sealing off those negative energy leaks and keeping our vibbies high and clear. So cleaning out old shoes, sorting those hooks and hangers, and dealing with broken mirrors isn't just housekeeping. According to Dolores Cannon, it's a crucial step in curating our personal energy, setting us up for a life filled with growth, clarity, and positive transformations. Let's make every corner of our home a beacon of good vibes, starting with the ground up. Got some clothes at home from people who've moved on? Dolores Cannon points out these aren't just fabrics. They're like time capsules, holding onto old vibes and memories that might be keeping us stuck. It's as if these clothes have invisible strings attached, pulling us back instead of letting us move forward. Letting go of these pieces means cutting those strings and making room for fresh starts and new connections. Imagine performing a ceremony where you say thank you and goodbye to these clothes. It's more than just tidying up. It's a deep symbolic way of letting go, clearing out the old energies to welcome new positive ones. This isn't just about cleaning out a closet. It's about acknowledging past connections, appreciating them, and then freeing ourselves to grow. And then there's the stuff that's broken from mirrors to vases. 
Dolores Cannon teaches us to see these not just as clutter, but as reflections of our inner world. By fixing or saying farewell to these items, we're not just clearing space in our homes, but also mending parts of ourselves, moving towards healing and growth. Oh, and let's talk about worn-out underwear and those lone socks. It might sound funny, but think about it. These small, everyday items say a lot about how we view ourselves. Keeping them around might reflect a mindset of scarcity or neglect of self-care. Swapping them out for new comfy pieces is a step toward valuing ourselves more, affirming that we deserve the best even in the most private parts of our lives. This process, inspired by Canon's insights, is all about acknowledging what these items represent in our lives and making conscious choices to foster growth, self-worth and positive energy. It's about creating an environment that mirrors our highest aspirations and nurtures our spirit. So, let's embrace this journey of renewal, starting with the drawers and closets right back to our inner selves. Diving into our homes is like embarking on a treasure hunt, where every corner and closet can reveal secrets about our inner selves and what we truly value. This isn't just about Marie Kondoing our space. It's a deeper journey into how our surroundings reflect and affect our inner peace and prosperity. By choosing what to keep or let go, we're not just decluttering, we're tuning into our spiritual path, guided by Dolores Cannon's wisdom, that our environment shapes our energy and dreams. Think about how our ancestors cherished their homes, turning them into hubs of connection and warmth. Our homes aren't just spaces, they're where life happens, where we laugh, cry, and grow together. They contribute to our identity just as much as we shape theirs. It's in these shared moments that we truly become a home. However, it's easy to forget the power our physical surroundings have over our spiritual and emotional well-being. Canon urges us to look deeper, realizing that cleaning up isn't just about the physical. It's a dive into the essence of our being. Our home's energy is a constant force, influencing everything from our mood to our health. Negative vibes can bring about tension, misunderstandings, and even physical symptoms like fatigue or headaches. They can throw off the harmony we strive for, making it tough to reach our goals or feel at ease. But here's the kicker, we can change this. By regularly cleansing our space through rituals like sage burning, meditation, or simply filling our home with things that make us happy, we can shift the energy towards the positive. This isn't just about aesthetics, it's about fostering an environment that supports our emotional and spiritual journey. Dolores Cannon teaches that our physical and emotional realms are intertwined, inseparable. Just like our bodies and emotions, our homes and inner selves are deeply connected. A grand house with no warmth is just as incomplete as a warm heart without a place to call home. It's all about balance, infusing our spaces with love, care, and positive practices that transform them into sanctuaries of well-being. By consciously choosing what surrounds us, from the art on our walls to the plants in our corners, we invite positive energy into our lives. This isn't just decor, it's about creating a space that reflects and nurtures our deepest selves. Practices like meditation and yoga further connect us with the positive vibes around us, helping us to find peace and vitality. Every step on this journey brings us closer to the life we dream of, where our home is not just a place to live, but a source of inspiration and prosperity. Through mindful attention to our surroundings, we nurture our inner peace and create a sacred space to flourish. Letting go of the old and welcoming the new allows us to open our hearts to fresh starts and higher vibrations, truly embodying Canon's teachings on living in harmony with our environment. So let's take this journey together transforming our homes into havens of positive energy and spiritual growth.